Hi, we, we arrived in, uh, in Cape Town last year in about July. Um, Brenda and I have lived in a couple of cities, so it's always important to us to find somewhere to fellowship. And one of the things of being in the kingdom is that there's always um, family wherever you go. And we're very grateful to the Lord for yeah. having led us to Valley Church. That, that's, that's really one of the most difficult things about moving to a new city is um, this feeling of being totally on your own. Mm. And um, it was hard in the beginning in Hout Bay. We got here in the July. And um, it took us until October to find Valley Church. But we did, and we're very thankful for it. We're thankful for the people. Yeah. And uh, we really feel like we have family. Um, it, you know, the church has become our family. We're building some nice, strong friendships. And, we're very yeah. grateful for that. And specifically also for the year, I think we, we're very grateful for the mercy mm -hmm. and the grace of God in our lives. We've, we've, we thank God that He... He gives us those things we don't deserve and He doesn't give us those things we do deserve. And uh, we've seen healing in our family this year, yes. both uh, our moms. Earlier this year my mother was diagnosed with colon cancer and um, she was rushed in for emergency surgery to remove part of her colon and then they would see if anything had progressed and um, lots of people prayed for her and God did a real miracle. Um, after the surgery, they did tests and there's no trace of it left. Mm -hmm. They got all of it. She didn't even have to have chemo. She's not had to wear any of those um, sort of surgical bags or anything like that. So mm -hmm. that to me was a real miracle. Thank the Lord. Huh? Yes. We're very grateful. And then for his provision, um, there's still some, like all Christians, I think there's still some prayers we're waiting to, to see the, the answer manifest, but we trust God that. Mm. Uh, all things work together for our good and, and those, those things are coming so it's a good place to be and we're very grateful to be and and we love the the, the valley family mm? we do i guess the thing that i'm most grateful for at the moment is um how when god asks or just begins to package an idea and he gives you a sense of the timing of it um following that is um, like we've just done with the, the craft market and um, it just is beautiful to see how how his ideas carry through at his timing um, just produces something so beautiful um, something that's actually bigger than one person can do and and I'm just I'm just really grateful for the way that God is leading and guiding our church into things as random as craft markets that seem to have no sense at all but he knows what he's doing. He's 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 using things like that to to bring people together across generations and across across um, skill levels, and um, it just makes me really excited about the future and excited about the the very details that that are important to God, like like being a community where where women don't feel left out and and that feel connected um, in ways that they didn't. So that's, I guess that's just one of the things that um, I'm really grateful for, that God continues to lead and guide, and, and that he has everybody in mind in building this community. Yeah, I've had quite an eventful year this year, and I'm just amazed at God's faithfulness, his provision, and just how, how awesome his attention to detail has been in my life. And I haven't got words to, to, to explain and express um, how, how faithful he is. And I just believe now that everything that's in the Bible is true. He will never leave or forsake us. And he will never, he, he's got us in the power of his hands. And I can write a book on that because it's just been every, every detail of our, and it, not only for me, for my family as well. And even his grace and his mercy as how he just was so gracious to take Brian just no pain, no suffering, no fuss, no bother. And it was, yeah, I just, he's a big God. And, and I just want to tell you, I love him so much more. And I just want to serve him. And I'm waiting at his feet to see where do I go now and what does he want me to do in there. So, yeah, I just want to tell you, he is awesome. Awesome, awesome God. Okay. What can I say? Um, it's been an awesome year. That's for, that's for sure. Um, the Lord's been carrying me through some incredible stories. Um, yeah, my dad, you know, last year in March, and 
since then I feel just being carried. It's been amazing. It's been a walk with the Lord that is just awesome. Um, financially, uh, miraculously, I've been helped and um, finances coming along that I had no idea were available. And now I'm packing up my house and I'm moving into a little flat and I'm looking very much forward to next year what the Lord has in store for me. And I think it's going to be awesome. Um, yeah, get all the clutter out of my life.